This presentation is the first one in a series of three where I will explain the join concepts in SQL. And uh, the first one I will look at is, um, is inner join. The series will be um, three videos, one with inner join, one with outer join, and then what I call subtractions from join. That means when we have a, a result of data, and then we will want to only subtract a part of it and present that. So why in the first place use joins? Um, this is for relational databases. We have in this case two entities or two tables, one student and one class. And in the student table, we have the student ID and the student name. In the class, we have the class ID and the class name. In order to relate these two to each other, we need to have a foreign key in the student's um, table. So we can say that one class can contain many students uh, and one student can be in one class only. This is our data that I will use for this example. And um, in this case, we have uh, four, five students and two classes. And the five students uh, are in different classes. We can see the relation between student and class uh, through the uh, class ID. That means that Nils is in the databases because he has class ID one, like databases have. And uh, then uh, we have John, in the also in databases, Maria in uh, in backend, Tina in backend, and then we have an error, uh, not Dan, but uh, the class ID four uh, will, in this example, just for the examples, uh, the purpose of the example, I have chosen to give it a class ID four um, because there is no class uh, with the ID four, so we need to see the the example of what to what do we get when there's no relation between uh, a, a student and a class. So we can visualize the entities uh, with the Venn diagram. So we can have um, our students in, in, uh, in one circle and then we can have the class in another circle. And when we join these two together, we can see that right now without doing any SQL on them, they are students and their classes. But what if we want to know who are in the databases class? Uh, as we can see here, it's Nils and John. They are in the databases class. So we might say that uh, they have something in common. They have some common ground, the student and the class. But Maria, uh, Tina and Dan, they are not in the, in the databases class. And the backend uh, is not a databases class. It's backend. So that's why it's outside the uh, the common ground so let's have a look at the uh, sql that we can use to get this um, this product or this common ground out of these two uh, circles i use uh, select student name and class name i'll only need the student name and the class name and i will get them from student in order to make a relation i need to use the inner join and the inner join um, will say that I want to join student and class and I will do it by um, relating the class ID from the class table to the class ID on the student and then I have a where clause at the end where I say that I only need those um, students and this class name for those who are in the database class and database class is number one so that's why we will get this result, that we will get the inner join. That means the, the common ground between two tables. Let's have a look at what we can do to uh, get all the students that are in the class, no matter if they are in databases or backend. It's, it's more easy than it's not that complicated, because in that case, we only omit the where clause, because now we are interested in anybody who's in the um, who are in the uh, uh, in one class that means backend or databases and in this case it will be these students uh, the 
they will be Nils, John, Maria and Tina and they will be in these uh, two classes. Dan is outside because there is no class with a class ID 4. So that means they have common ground and Dan is outside. And the query result will be something like this. That we'll have student name and class name. Uh, these are the two columns I get because I select student name and class name and I get them from student and I join them on the class through the class ID. So the, uh, the inner join can be illustrated like this, that we need to have the common ground between two tables. Something that is outside we will not see it. So the next video will be about left outer join and about right outer join.